Hi, uh, welcome to day seven of 10 of our 10 days of gratitude. Um, for the past couple of days, I've been posting prompts to the Facebook group to think about different things that we can be thankful for. And uh, I've really, really enjoyed seeing people's comments and all the different things that people have to be grateful for. So thank you for participating. I really appreciate it. Um, and then I've also been going live every day, almost every day, to kind of share my answers to these. Um, I also made a free 10-day um, gratitude journal. So if you didn't feel comfortable kind of putting your answers out on Facebook, you can print it out and just write out your answers or you can follow the prompts and just do it on your own. Um, but just that taking the time, even if it's just a few minutes a day to think about things that you can be really thankful for. Um, I know it helps my mental health it helps my kids' mental health and it just helps kind of me focus on the things that are actually really important as opposed to the things that aren't there. So today's prompt is um, name a family member that um, you are just so thankful for. Um, now I have a pretty big family so um, it's hard to kind of pick one and say that this is one that I'm really thankful for. Um, so maybe I'll just shout out a few so nobody feels left out. Um, I'm thankful for my mom because she had the brilliant idea of doing Zoom parties with my grandparents and my aunts and some of my cousins. And so every week during quarantine, um, we have a weekly Zoom meeting. And that's been really cool because um, I don't know why it took a pandemic but we can actually see each other, talk to each other. So um, if some of you don't know, um, I live in Edmonton, which is, you know, the west end of Canada. And my grandparents live in Chicago, which um, is on the other side of the continent. And then my parents live in Ottawa. So it's not a quick drive or even flight to kind of get there. And so just to kind of have the opportunity to even see them face to face, even if it's on Skype or Zoom, um, is really awesome. So I'm just thankful that she organized that. And um, my grandparents are like in their 90s and they're just still living and still thankful and sharing stories. And it's just awesome to see their um, journey and what they're thankful for, even at their age. Um, so yeah, this quarantine period hasn't really been that easy for them, but even through all that, they can still give glory to God, and um, that's just really such an example to me. Um, so I've really been encouraged by that. And then um, somebody I'm also really thankful for, technically we're not related because we're married, but um, my husband, he um, is just the things that I am not. So, <laughs> um, he's outgoing and he is compassionate and he loves to help out. And, um, I am none of those things. And if I do have any of those qualities, it's because I've been married to him for 13 years and I've learned them through osmosis. Um, but he challenges me um, in the areas of my life that I'm not great at and not even with words, um, but just living, um, being who he is. And then he, um, encourages me in the areas that I want to pursue. So, um, and he's just really supportive about it. If I have an idea or want to do something, um, he's all for it and will, you know, sometimes even clear his schedule so that I can go do something that I really want to do. And um, that's just such a gift that he um, loves me for who I am. He's not intimidated by my loud personality. He challenges me in a good way um, to be exactly who I am and to grow in the areas that I want to grow in. And so... Um, yeah, I'm just really, really thankful for him and just for being an amazing husband and the most amazing dad. And um, he works really hard every day to provide for our family and um, that way I can stay home. So that's just such a blessing to have such a supportive husband. 
and I know too many people who can't say that about their husband so I'm just thankful for that so um, yeah if you've been following along uh, today we're just thinking about family members that we're thankful for so let me know in the comments which family members you're thankful for and feel free to tag them so they know that they're thankful for you okay see you in the comments